15 years ago. Look at it. It's that. It's still that. It's just that. Washington points to people in this cafe. They're mostly storm survivors. He says, talk to them. They're suffering too. He tells me about a customer, a woman, who lost her home in the storm. It's completely rebuilt it, but won't look back in. Washington doesn't think she ever will. She's afraid, he says. You can see it in her eyes when she talks about the house. I tell him I think I know what he means. I can see fear in his eyes too. He laughs and says, nope, you can't see it. You have to have gone through it to understand. Walking tour for Lower Ninth this hour. Kirk Washington's house is all the way on the bottom of the Lower Ninth, way near the Mississippi. That's higher ground. That's the part of the Lower Ninth that survived the most. Houses are jammed together here, and most of them are occupied. And just a two-minute walk from Washington's house, five blocks away, there's a bar that Kim Ford, who you heard at the top of the show, brought one of our producers, Zoe Chase, to. She was like, "Go to this bar. It's the best." Call out the street name. Tell America. America. This is Lazardi and Burgundy. And this place is a staple in the Lower Ninth Ward. Mercedes Bar, everybody in the Lower Ninth Ward knows this place. Mercedes Bar is one of the few bars they have here now. One local told us it was nine bars before Katrina, which is two now. This is the second stop on our tour. As you face the building, uh, you can see that it is neatly painted white with green trim around the windows, little New Orleans Ford V, gold and black, looks well taken care of. Which is not true of the street in front of it, you will notice if you turn that way. So many streets in the Lower Ninth are just awful, and this is one of them. Lots of potholes, and they're big potholes. And if you pull in there, you're going down in the hole. The streets are horrible. A little bit of rain, and it's water everywhere. You can't even park here. The owner of the bar, Mercedes Gibson, says that the holes in the street are costing her customers and they're costing her money, and it's hard to pay the light bill at this point. Zoe spent some time with her and her customers. The holes in the streets are a real problem for Mercedes because neither she nor her customers are young. What I describe it as a friendly bar and selling each people. I don't fool with youngsters. Settle aged people. Like the bartender, Mercedes' daughter, Sharon. She pulls the bar for me real quick to prove how dire the Lazardi Street parking situation really is. How much do I have to park to get here? And close all my way, a block and a half. We'll have to get it out the way. Are y'all young people or senior citizens? Yeah, I don't know about the rest of them, but I'm young. <laughs> I'm So I sit with the settled aged at a long table 